The A380 is one of the most impressive jets ever developed. Largely designed and built in France, this massive double-decker is a testament to French ingenuity. But in an odd twist of fate, Air France, the country's flag carrier, recently announced that they will retire their entire A380 fleet by 2022. And of the 14 airlines that operate the A380, they will be the first to completely phase them out. But considering the average age for their A380s is just 9 years old, why is Air France retiring these planes in the first place? Let me explain. While the A380 is a spectacular feat of engineering, it's not exactly a secret that the plane has had its fair share of issues throughout the years. Some of the more high-profile problems include a couple of serious in-flight engine failures and cracking in the wings of several units. Even when big technical faults like these aren't affecting day-to-day -day operations, consistent nagging problems give the jet a subpar dispatch reliability record. This means A380 flights are more consistently delayed or cancelled than flights serviced by other long-haul jets. Simply put, the longer a plane is sitting on the ground, the less money it's generating for airlines. This is especially a problem for the A380 because its operating economics are already kinda dicey. It's common knowledge that the plane only turns a profit when it's at or near full capacity. Considering the jet is designed to carry over 500 individuals, filling them consistently has proven to be a challenge for many airlines. While problems like reliability and excess size have been gripes of A380 operators for years now, it's only part of the puzzle as to why Air France is retiring theirs. The final component is the nature of the routes that these planes are flown on. Because the plane needs to be full to turn a profit, Air France has no choice but to put them on some of its most highly trafficked long-haul routes. Some of these routes include Paris to New York, Paris to Shanghai, Paris to Mexico City, and Paris to Los Angeles. Aside from being huge population centers, these cities are notable because they are also massive hubs of commerce. As such, demand for business travel is particularly high on these routes. Business class is typically an airline's most profitable class. As a result, routes that feature lots of lucrative business travelers see fierce competition and are often serviced by the absolute best business class products that airlines can offer. For instance, United just recently launched its new United Polaris business class on flights between Newark and Paris while Delta just debuted its Delta One business class product on flights between JFK and Paris. Both products feature lie flat seats and direct aisle access, a stark contrast to what Air France offers on its A380. Air France's A380 business class product can be described as lackluster at best. It's just one of two airlines that doesn't offer full lie flat seats in business class to New York JFK and it features a dense 222 cabin configuration. Considering they face such fierce competition, having a mediocre business product is a huge liability for Air France, and it started to eat away at their bookings. Now, Air France could retrofit their A380s with new seats. However, doing so would cost an estimated $45 million per aircraft. Since the plane has already proven to be unprofitable and unreliable, the airline has deemed it wiser to simply cut their losses and retire the jets. So what kind of planes will be replacing Air France's A380s? Well, as has become the industry standard, they will be replaced by smaller, highly efficient, wide-body twin jets. The airline has ordered 38 Airbus A350s that are said to become the backbone of their long-haul fleet moving forward. A few of these jets have already been delivered, and the early returns on their business class product has largely been positive. With full lie flats in a 1 to 1 configuration, it's a proper business class for the 2020s. If you learned something new today, leave a like and subscribe to keep learning. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.